Hi, and welcome to another PowerShell quick tip video. This one is actually going to expand on one of our previous quick tip videos that we've done in the past, the one that covered get history. We actually got a really, really good question on that video the other day, which was asking how can we view all the history of all the PowerShell sessions that we've ran? And I actually have an answer for you. It is possible to do that with PowerShell. So let's go ahead and let's just take a look, a quick look at the get history commandlet. And let's go over some of the limitations on what kind of history we can actually see. So here I have a brand new PowerShell 7 window open. If I do get history right now, we won't get anything because this is a brand new shell, a brand new terminal. But let's go ahead and let's just run some commandlets here. Let's do get service. And let's let that finish up here. That's all done. Let's do a get process. And that's all done as well. Now, if we do a get history here, we will notice that we get our history of all the commands that we've run, including our first command that we ran, which was get history. Now, this is great for this session. But what happens is if I go ahead and close this and let's go ahead and let's reopen up our PowerShell 7 terminal here. And let me just zoom in so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And let's do a get dash history. We actually lose all of that. Now, let's say you wanted to see what you did in your last PowerShell 7 shell or your last PowerShell 5.1 shell or anything like that. Let's see how we can actually do that. Now, one of the commandlets that's going to come in handy for this is actually called get ps read line option. Now, if we just run this as is, we will actually see here that there is a history save path and we actually have a path here. So let me just zoom out because this path is quite long it actually saves our history to a text file. And we can see that it saves incrementally and we have a maximum history count of 4,096. So what we can actually do to get the history of our entire PowerShell 7 terminal history is do a get content and then specify a path. And what I usually use is a variable wrapper here. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. So inside of these parentheses, what I would do is put a get PS read line option and then do a dot notation after the parentheses and it's going to be history save path. If we do the get content like that, here is our entire history of our PowerShell 7 commands that we've done in the past here. And this will go across all of the sessions that we've had. We've seen that if we do get history, we basically got a blank slate. So this is really, really good in order for us to get our history. And we can even go ahead and just highlight one of these, right click on it. And then we can go ahead and right click again to paste it. And we can rerun that command without a problem. And now if we do a get history, we will see that we see all the commands that we have just run. Um, so again, we can go ahead and get the entire history and we will get that once again now the one thing that you do lose is that nice ability to do an invoke history but like i said you could just copy and paste and that works just as well now the main limitation on this is this will not gather anything that you've done on an ise or visual studio code powershell sessions so let's go ahead and let's just take a look at that um, so if we go ahead and come back to our Visual Studio code, we have some code that we've done in our last video for credentials. Let's just go ahead and let's run this real quick. And it's going to prompt us for our password. We're just going to put it in real quick. And that's that. So we've run now some code. If we go ahead and do the get history, we will notice that that code does not actually show up. Um, so it is purely strictly, and you can even really tell with the get PS read line option here, even the get PS read line, like the PS read line 
is the PowerShell terminal read line. And the name of the file, um, if I just zoom out here, is called console host history. So just be aware of that, that it is purely what was done on the terminal. So if you are one that does a lot through Visual Studio code more than the terminal, you won't have your history on that. But the nice thing is, if you're usually doing it through the ISC or Visual Studio code, usually those are more very big scripts that you're probably going to be running. And you're usually going to be saving those to somewhere. So you kind of have a history of what you've done as well. So once again, if you just want to get the history of your current session, it is just get history. And then you can use the invoke history as we've seen on that previous video. But if you are in a new session and you're thinking to yourself, I really wonder what that command was that I ran in the past. Uh, maybe it was two weeks ago or something. Just simply do a get content path. As long as you can remember the variable wrapper and do the get PS read line option. And then you can simply do a dot notation finish for history save path. You can go and get yourself that history of all the commands you have run in PowerShell. Now, again, there is that limit of 4,096. Now you can actually edit all of those um, details as well with the set PS read line option, but I will save that for another quick tip. This was really just to show you guys that there is a way that you can get all previous history from PowerShell terminals. I hope you guys liked this quick tip. If you guys did like this quick tip, please comment and subscribe and hit that like button as well. If you guys have any commandlets or any ideas that you guys would like me to cover as a quick tip, please let me know in the comment section down below and be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.